to show you how to enter clinical hours into the dashboard. A few things you should know ahead of time. Actual hours are entered separately from scheduled hours, so you'll enter your scheduled hours first, and then um, after the work day is done, you'll enter in your actual hours. All days in the week must have scheduled hours um, for the calculation to work. So if you have uh, someone that works three days a week, you'll put their hours in for those three days. The other three days of the week, their scheduled hours will be zero. You'll enter, enter in zeros for those. Um, you can enter repeatable hours on scheduled only. So if you want to set up um, every Thursday you're scheduled for the same amount of hours, I can schedule that out in a couple of clicks for, um, for eternity, the same hours every Thursday, and that's on the scheduled hours. Again, the actual hours you'll enter in after the work is done that day, just in case there's a difference between the scheduled and the actual hours. Finally, tracking clinical hours only takes a few minutes a day and it's going to provide valuable insight into the operation and efficiency in your practice. So that being said, let's jump into the dashboard. Here you can see I'm, I'm on the clinical hours page. Um, quick navigation, there's um, scrolling. I can go up and down inside of here or in the browser um, to see my providers. I can give myself more room by collapsing the calendar. And to get to additional days, I can scroll over like simply by clicking, holding down, and dragging my page around. So first, I know that our office is closed on every Sunday. So I'm going to use the close button right here, this X. I'm going to click that and say, this repeats every Sunday, and it will save our hours. Now you can see, once I save this, the 10th is in the past. And so it set my actual hours to zero because that has already occurred. If I go to the 17th, you can see my scheduled hours are set to zero, but I don't have actual hours yet. And this is for when we want to track these things, track our scheduled hours versus what we're actually, um, the hours that we're actually working. And so, but here on the 10th, it's in the past, so you can see the zeros. So next, I'm going to schedule, um, I know that on Monday, everybody works eight hours. So I'm going to click the people here, I'm going to set for all providers eight hours every Monday and save that. So now you can see they're scheduled every Monday for eight hours. You'll notice because I'm um, doing this for yesterday, you'll notice a red box around this. And that just means to signify to me that I haven't entered my actual hours for a day that has occurred. Okay. So next I'm going to say um, for our general dentist here, the flash, he works every other Tuesday at uh, for four hours. So I'm going to say four hours every other Tuesday and hit save. Okay. And now on my, my hygienist on Tuesdays, I know they all work for six hours. So I'm going to schedule here Wonder Woman six hours. I'm going to say every Tuesday, and now I'm going to add Supergirl and the Invisible Woman, and click Save. And you can see now those individuals are all scheduled for six hours. So you can see those, those they're now scheduled for zero hours every Tuesday. If I go to next Tuesday, you'll be able to see they're scheduled out there. Okay. Now I've just got to continue finishing out my hours and maybe these people work different hours. So on Wednesday, this person enters, is going to have seven hours. I think you get the gist of this, but I'm going to continue filling this out so that now all of my scheduled hours are going to be gone off of here and it will look like this. And that will mean that, uh, all these hours are going to cor correctly calculate. So I know we're also closed every Friday. We're closed every Saturday. So now we're closed on those days. Um, and I'll quickly fill out the rest of this. Let's say Thursday everybody works for five hours. I'll do it up here. Everybody works for five hours every Thursday. 
and she's four hours this day. Okay. So now you can see my entire week is now scheduled. And you can see the hours that I, the actual hours that I have, have not entered yet. So keep in mind the dashboard will use the scheduled hours to calculate, but if I want to track my actual hours, which may vary for my scheduled hours, I'm going to enter those in. So for um, the 11th, this person actually works seven. And now I can just tab down through and say this was uh, seven. 37 hours and 30 minutes. This person had 8 hours. This person was 8 hours. 8 hours. And I'm just tabbing through. Okay. And you can see I go, I jump right to the next day. So this is today. And uh, the day's not over yet, but I will come back and enter these in when the day's over and I have the actual hours here. So now you can see that these hours are all filled out for this week. If I go to my provider pulse and I go to per hour, you can see I have um, all the calculations here for the per hour work done right here. Production per hour. And you can even see how many um, dollars were brought in over how many hours. So that was entering the clinical hours into the provider pulse.